Pompeii is a city etched in history, not just for its tragic demise but also for the wealth of discoveries that continue to emerge from its grounds. It's a place where the past is always present and sometimes, it's challenging to keep up with the new revelations that each excavation brings to light. In this video, we will explore the recent discoveries that have revealed more details to researchers and archaeologists. Nestled in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii was once a bustling Roman city which was rich in culture and life. Its streets were lined with homes and businesses, its arenas echoed with the cheers of spectators and its baths were filled with the laughter of friends. But in 79 AD, the city met its catastrophic end when Vesuvius erupted, burying Pompeii under a thick blanket of ash and pumice. This natural disaster created a unique snapshot of Roman life frozen in time. Among the many architectural marvels unearthed in Pompeii is the House of Leda. This ancient mansion is named after a fresco depicting the mythological tale of Leda and the Swan and it has been the focus of archaeologists since its rediscovery in 2018. In the House of Leda, archaeologists have made a stunning discovery in the form of a 2,000-year-old fresco. This artwork depicts the story of Phrixus and Hela, twin siblings from Greek mythology. As the tale goes, they were fleeing from their malevolent stepmother who sought to harm them. Their salvation came in the form of a flying ram with a golden fleece. In the fresco, we see the moment when Hela falls from the ram into the sea reaching desperately for her brother Phrixus. According to the legend, after Hela's fall, her brother Phrixus continues the journey alone. The golden ram carries him safely across the sea to the land of Colchis. There, Phrixus sacrifices the ram to the gods and presents its golden fleece to King Aetes. The House of Leda itself is a marvel of ancient architecture. Its northern section has six rooms and offers a glimpse into the daily lives of Pompeii's elite. The southern section is where the Phrixus and Hella fresco was discovered and continues to be a site of ongoing excavation. Archaeologists are still working to uncover the full floor plan of the structure piece by piece. The myth of Phrixus and Hella resonates deeply at Pompeii where the theme of refugees fleeing the danger of volcanic eruption is all too familiar. As researchers carefully excavate the House of Leda, they are not only uncovering frescoes but also preserving them for future generations. Specialists are also using advanced techniques to clean the frescoes, separating the pigments from centuries-old residues and preventing further deterioration. Pompeii itself is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, drawing visitors from around the globe to marvel at its wonders. Second only to the Colosseum in Rome in terms of tourist visits in Italy, Pompeii continues to captivate with its tales of ancient life and tragedy. In recent times, Pompeii's archaeological wonders have been further enhanced by technological advancements. Just weeks before the discovery of the Phrixus and Hella fresco, researchers made headlines with their use of artificial intelligence to decipher ancient scrolls. These scrolls, known as the Herculaneum papyri were carbonized during the same volcanic eruption that buried Pompeii. They contain a wealth of information about philosophy, music and daily life in ancient Rome. Among these scrolls, one was found to be authored by the Epicurean philosopher Philodemus and it revealed more details on the pleasures of life and the pursuit of happiness. The deciphered text focuses on how the scarcity or abundance of food and other goods impacts the pleasure they deliver. That fits Philodemus's Epicurean school of philosophy, which prioritized pleasure as the main goal in life. His 2,000-year-old writing even appears to possibly take a dig at the Stoic school of philosophy that has nothing to say about pleasure. This incredible deciphering of the Herculaneum papyri was part of the Vesuvius Challenge, a competition that awarded a grand prize of $700,000. The winning team utilized a combination of 3D mapping and AI techniques to detect ink and decipher letter shapes within segments of the scrolls. The team had also won the $40,000 First Letters Prize awarded earlier in October. This previous award was won when the team deciphered the scroll's first legible word, porphyras, meaning purple, in ancient Greek. Their success opens the door to more discoveries from the vast collection of scrolls once housed in the library of the ancient Roman town of Herculaneum. Philodemus is thought to have been the philosopher in residence at the library that housed the Herculaneum papyri. Researchers believe that as more scrolls get deciphered in the future, there is going to be a massive boon to our knowledge of ancient philosophy. This is because the Vesuvius challenge isn't over. Its 2024 goals include figuring out how to scale up the 3D scanning and digital analysis techniques without becoming too expensive. 
The current techniques cost $100 per square centimeter meaning that it could cost between $1 million and $5 million to virtually unroll an entire scroll and there are 800 scrolls waiting to be deciphered. As the journey of discovery continues in Pompeii and beyond, each artifact, each fresco and each scroll tells its own story. The combined efforts of archaeologists, historians and technologists offer a glimpse into the past while paving the way for a deeper understanding of ancient civilizations. Pompeii's legacy endures, inviting us to explore, learn and contemplate the echoes of history that still resonate today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Pompeii. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. See you next time.